My name is Susan Strasser. I'm the country director for the Elizabeth Glazier Pediatric AIDS Foundation here in Zambia. It's important to address the, the issue of syphilis in the context of HIV and AIDS because we know these two diseases work together. What I mean is when someone is infected with HIV, they have a greater risk of getting another sexually transmitted infection such as syphilis. And we know for pregnant women who have HIV infection, if they also have active syphilis, they're more likely to, to transmit HIV to their unborn child. And we know that syphilis, unlike HIV, can easily be diagnosed and treated with a simple injection of penicillin. And so we've recently completed a study here in Zambia where we looked at introducing a rapid test for syphilis, which can be done much like a pregnancy test. And within 20 minutes, you get a result to tell you if a woman has syphilis. And right then and there, she can be treated and for her syphilis and therefore reduce the risk dramatically of um, transmitting HIV to her baby. So we know these two diseases go hand in hand, and we know that it's very acceptable and feasible to do this rapid test, and it's very inexpensive to treat the syphilis. So it's something that we can do alongside of caring for and, and managing um, HIV, we can treat the syphilis. The government of Zambia has decided to shift their policy on testing for syphilis in pregnancy and through routine testing for syphilis throughout the country based on the results of the study that we just completed with the Center for Infectious Disease Research. The study had compelling data to show the acceptability and feasibility of the use of the rapid test. It also was able to show that it's highly cost effective as an intervention. So using the rapid syphilis test gets around the barriers related to the cold chain, electricity and um, training of health workers in the use of the RPR, which was the current, uh, the former test that was primarily used. That test will still be used in Zambia, but in partnership with a rapid test. And we know by using a rapid test, we increase the, the ability of nurses and doctors to provide same day testing and treatment, which is very, very important because once a person has to wait for their results or is told to come home and come back, we know we lose a lot of people and that's a missed opportunity because it's very difficult for some people to get to a clinic. Some people have to walk many miles to get to a clinic or it's very costly to get on public transport and come to a clinic. So we want to reduce missed opportunities and we want to ensure that if someone is tested, they receive treatment right then and there. So rapid tests allow that and the government has recognize that through this study we can rapidly increase the people that get same-day testing and treatment and drastically reduce missed opportunities. So following the study we met with a number of key stakeholders within the Ministry of Health as well as within technical working groups um, that are part of the Ministry of Health system and they sat down and revised the national testing algorithm for Zambia to include the use of rapid syphilis tests.